Hello! Welcome to a massive unboxing for a box that doesn't fit in the frame. Well, it's massive in terms of size. The, uh, the, there's actually only two books within it. At least there should only be two books within it. But you never know. Oh, knock my light out of frame there. Yeah, two books within it. I joked in the last video how sometimes you buy these books in a fugue state. And one of these books, I, because I bought a bunch of books all at once, as one does, totally forgot which books were purchased from which vendor. So one of these books, this one right here, I had mistaken as being in the other package. Just kidding, it's in this package. So spoiler alert, you might already know what it is. All you probably do from the thumbnail anyways, it is at the top of the volcano by Harlan Ellison. But it does include a book I didn't tell you about that I am very excited to get my hands on. Now I do own, this This is, I mean you can already tell from the, the name of the video, this my friends is Fever Dream by George R.R. R. Martin. And for those unfamiliar, George R.R. Martin, uh, most of you probably know George R.R. Martin as the Song of Ice and Fire, you know, Game of Thrones and sequels, House of the Dragon. Prior to that, he did write other genres and did write other books. Back in the early 80s, he wrote Fever Dream, which uh, admittedly I've not read yet. Big surprise there. But it is his delve into the horror genre, dealing with vampires on the Mississippi. And I got stupid things stuck to my hand. There we go. Vampires on the Mississippi. And throughout the 2000s, Subterranean Press, Legends That They Are, published signed limited editions for almost all of Martin's titles? Did they do all of Martin's titles? No, because they didn't do like Armageddon Rag. Uh, they did do Windhaven, uh, which was him and Lisa Tuttle. Yeah, so they haven't done all of them, but they've done a good number of them. So this was a signed limited edition. At the time, it was $125. I did have to spend a little bit more than that for this. Um, but I think I, what I spent was actually favorable to what it normally goes for. Uh, so I, I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, it's a nice little cloth-bound book. It's got a little ding in the corner there. See that? But all in all, I'm happy with it. So this does have a slipcase, which not all of Subterranean Press's titles do. Uh, especially, I know Windhaven, which is the other George R. R. Martin one that I have, it does not have a slipcase. Uh, I know a lot of the like uh, ones that anthologies that he co-edited with Gardner Dojois uh, have they don't have slipcases either, do they? Like Rogues, Book of Swords, Book of Magic. I don't think they had slipcases either. Got those in the other room though. Anyways, this one does have artwork by Justin Sweet. Uh, like I said, I don't can't really tell you much more about the story other than vampires on the on the Mississippi. It's gotten uh, lots of praise, signed by George R. R. Martin and Justin Sweet. I do own the graphic novel adaptation. This was 2008. So the book itself was 1982, yes. And then they did their version in 2008. Very nice. Illustra interior illustrations as well. Oh, wow. So we have interior illustrations in full color, but then we had a little doodle there. A little... Uh, there we go. Look at that full color artwork. But then we had a little half page. Oh, that one looked like a full page. Some little black and white uh, illustrations as well. So that's really cool. And there is the cover in all its glory. The Fever Dream being the name of the, the boat, the ship. Uh, anyways, I do have the, uh, as I was saying, the graphic novel which is signed by Martin. I got that directly through Beastly Books, uh, which is George R. R. Martin's bookstore. And you can get a lot of his titles signed by him through Beastly Books. But the Subterranean Press ones, uh, you got to spend some money on those, which usually it's a lot of money. And, I mean, I still, I, I still spent uh, more than cover price on this title. But it wasn't that much more. And I think it was offset by this, The Top of the Volcano, the award-winning stories of Harlan Ellison, 
which I got beneath cover price. So I think they kind of level themselves off a little bit. I'm very happy with that. We'll put Fever Dream on the side for right now, right? Slightly off camera. The top of the volcano, this was a co-publication uh, between Edgeworks, which is Harlan Ellison's, and Subterranean Press. This is the award-winning stories, which, you know, all the stories that win awards all compiled together. It's another slipcase as well. Essentially, it's almost like a best of from Harlan Ellison. This one is bound in leather. Uh, this was, there was a deluxe hardcover for $45. There was the limited edition, which retailed for $125. And there was a signed lettered edition. Uh, this was the limited edition. I got a little beneath cover price. So I am very happy with it. Uh, and it is signed by Harlan Ellison. Or at least it should be. There we go. Oh, so he didn't, he didn't really sign a full page. It's almost like he signed just little slips, and little slips were inserted there. Uh, it's 250 copies. This is copy number 50. A uh, whole bunch of short stories in here. You got, uh, Repent Harlequin, said the TikTok man. You have I have no mouth, and I must scream. You have a, bo a d boy and his dog. A gin no chaser. Very, very nice. Uh, if you haven't read any Harlan Ellison, I would highly recommend checking him out. He was a character. But he had a very strong voice. Very, uh... He butted heads with a lot of people. He was very opinionated, but rightfully so, of a man of his caliber. Uh, he's written for a great many short stories. No interior illustrations, huh? Or did I pass some by without seeing them? I'm fine with that, though. Like I said, it's, it's very much just a nice little collection. 2014 when this was there. Uh, I mean, you can get whole collections of his short stories through Edgeworks. Uh, a lot of compendiums out there. And, oh, it even talks about, I didn't even realize it does mention the what it won. So, Repent Harlequin. So, the TikTok Man won the 1966 Hugo Award for Best Short Fiction and the Nebula Award for Best Short Story. So, each one has a little uh, blurb of what it won. Jeff D is five. Very nice. Like I said, it's more it's more so just because it's a great uh, it's a great compendium. It's your best of without specifically being a best of. And Subterranean Press is known for doing a lot of great best ofs. They do a lot of uh, short story collections. I've unboxed several of them on their channel. Although this one is a step above those. Those are you know your your, your typical cloth bound beauties. This one being bound in leather. Barely fits in a frame with how big it is. Let me take it off the slipcase. It fits a little better in the frame. And boom, there's your thumbnail. How about that? So all in all, like I said, two very nice books, two very nice publications. One is just mainly, I am not a George R. R. Martin collector in the sense that I have many of his subterranean press ones. Song of Ice and Fire, I am not spending a grand, more than a grand usually, to collect those. That's just out of the question. Ain't happening. But... With the titles that are more affordable, I will swing for them. Why not? I do have a lot of signed trade editions by George R. R. Martin. Uh, not necessarily signed limited editions, although I do have plenty of limited editions. Some limited editions, such as, as I mentioned, uh, Rogues, Book of Swords, Book of Magic, in which he has signed. But uh, not too many of his actual individual titles in a limited edition state. So given the opportunity to buy this, especially for what I think is a couple hundred dollars less than what he usually sells for, I'm jumping at the opportunity. And Harlan Ellison, I mean, I'll just gladly add him to my uh, my collection. I don't have many bibliographies in my, in my uh, collection of books, but I do have Fingerprints on the Sky, which was Ellison's bibliography, just because it was... It was you couldn't pass it up. That one was signed by Ellison as well. But uh, anyways, please check out the channel. I have lots of other unboxings. Not necessarily George R. R. Martin or Ellison unboxings, but just unboxings in general. Um, please consider subscribing. Thank you much for watching. Check out Subterranean Press. Check out Edgeworks and Subterranean Press. And we'll see you around next time.